Hi everyone. So, Happy New Year, first of all. Oh, sorry. First of all, Happy New Year. Secondly, I'm sorry about the video last week. I actually filmed it. I stayed up all night and filmed it. But then when I looked at it later, it just looked bad. So I couldn't put it up. And I didn't want to put it up. Bef I wanted to put it up before the New Year. And I didn't have time to re-record. So I wasn't able to put one out last week. But I'm going to try to be better with that in the New Year. Um, This week, I wanted to talk about goals and what we're going to achieve in the new year. What, what what are our plans for the new year? And before anyone goes in the comments, well, what about what happened yesterday? Or whatever happened this, or what happened this week? I know. And I'm going to do a video about that separately. And I'm about to go off on my podcasts tonight. So depending on whenever you're watching this, it's either already out or it's about to go out. So yes. I will be talking about what happened because I am quite heated and especially with the people that's on my Facebook right now because I still have some people who I thought were cool and then they're showing their little Trump flags and being a little too Trumpy, you know, so um, I'm going to have to cut some people off. If you hear a noise in my background, it's my son. I have him by, by myself today, so, um, but with that being said, let's get into it. For this week, mentally, I've been okay going in New Year for the most part. I mean, I'm kind of pissed off, but that's also because of the events that happened this week, depending on when you're watching this. When I'm recording it, it was yesterday. So, to give you a context, today's Thursday. Yesterday was Wednesday. But yes, I was, I was, ir I'm irritated because of looking at my Facebook timeline right now. And, sorry, my hair got in my eye. But yes, um, you know not, I, as you see, new hair, new year, new hair, new year, new hair. Uh, but um, also, I, for the most part, my mental health, it's been, it's been all right. I'm just trying to get myself refocused for the new year, trying to get some goals going and I even have a new goal notebook and I'm trying a different way and I will probably review it in a couple months to tell you if that way worked or if I went back to my other way but I don't have my other notebooks for my other way not yet I'm hoping I can move and get to those so I can actually make it a complete thing because I added a sorry about that but um Hold on. But, um, because how I want to do it, I have, well, we'll, we'll go over it in a few months and I'll tell you how it works out. I'm hoping this way will help me keep more guided on it and I can focus on goals month by month because that's how I'm going to do it now. Because I have quite a bit I want to achieve because I also added on my goals from 2020. Some of them that I couldn't achieve because of COVID. And I'm hoping that things will get better this year to where I can possibly achieve those things and do those things. Um, but beyond that, actually, let's get into the goals for the month, for the year. And before anyone's asking, you keep saying goals. Why aren't you saying resolutions? Why don't you say resolutions, resolutions, resolutions? I have a strong belief that resolutions is a terrible word to use. Because resolutions, most people fail within the first week of the new year. Oh, my new year's resolution is lose weight. And then you see that Popeye's brought out a new sandwich or something. Or Chick-fil-A brought out some new awesome shake. And you gotta have it. Because your, it, that's, your, that's your ish. That's, that's that. And then, bam. You, instead of losing weight, you don't gain 20 pounds. But... I believe in goals because it's something you're going to build on in the year. It's something you want to grow on. Like, I can share some of my goals with you guys. I actually shared some in the video that I didn't put up last week. Anyways, um, like one of the goals I was doing last year and got affected by COVID was I wanted to perform live. I wanted to conquer my stage fright. And I wasn't able to because of COVID. Because 
I'm the type of person where I study and I learn and I go into it before I before I actually just do it. I'm, I can't just do something. I have to like figure out in my head every possibility on if this is going to fail possibly because I don't want it to fail. So um, I was going to different poetry clubs. I found out about um, there's more poets in Tampa than what I thought. There's poetry clubs in Tampa. I did not know this. Because when I was asking people for years this, people would say, no, there's no poetry clubs in Tampa. No, no. Apparently, I wasn't hanging out with the right people. Or I didn't look on Facebook deep enough. Because Facebook helped me find the poetry clubs and the poetry group that I, I found recently. And stuff like that. I actually went to one of the meetings, which was pretty cool. And I was going to volunteer for the poetry slam that was going to happen, but COVID canceled it. Um, but beyond that, um, I'm trying to think, that's one of my other goals. I need to work on my dead air when I'm recording, podcasting, all that. So the same, um, and like, and, uh, getting rid of those words and keep with a consistent flow. Cause I'm sure you guys are kind of like, she doesn't know what the fuck she's saying. And to be honest with you, I don't. Because the only time I use my teleprompter or any type of script is when I do Poetry of the Week. This is off my head and off my heart. And this is easier for me. Poetry of the Week is more my scripted. So I want it to be scripted. I want it to go right. I want it to flow. I want it to match the um, poem that I put out for that week. If that's the same poem or a previous poem. Or if it's a poem about the drop. Because I've... Have I done that yet? No, I haven't done that yet. I wanted to do that this year, though. But, um, also, one of my other goals I was working on is growing both my YouTube and my podcast and getting it up there more so I can get sponsors and I can start doing more fun stuff like giveaways and things like that. And I was actually close to my goal for YouTube before I ended the year. I was actually gonna, like, hey, guys gonna help me out I actually did that on my razzle which I don't think anyone subscribed that's another story um I mean people subscribed to me on there that I killed apparently and I didn't even I, I didn't think I would even succeed on there because well oddly enough on there it's easier for me to open up you know it's weird but um Also, I'm working on new shows. That was one of my old other goals. I had two new shows I was going to be dropping on my podcast. Actually, three. But one of them, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it just on the podcast or podcast. And also, my other goal was to launch my Twitch. Where I can talk to you guys and, like, have more interactive conversations. And that show was going to actually talk about, like, things that I want to interact with you guys. And we can debate in a sense but we still have respect for each other at the end of the day to where it's not fuck you bitch and or saying some stupid shit like most people do when you get in an argument and you may have gotten the right answer or you may have said something that's smarter or something like that hold on But um, that got pushed back due to COVID, but also due to personal issues that involved COVID too. That has me in the current situation I'm in. Um, I wanted to grow my Neor Rose podcast, which is my horror podcast, which I was actually working on a couple of murder cases. Hold on, that sounds terrible. I was working on talking about them because I wanted to do kind of like, well... Uh, you won't see me doing my makeup on here because I do way too many tricks to look at least decent in front of you guys. Um, but I want to do kind of like a murder show where I talk about different crimes and stuff like that. And going details and like talking about things like people. I guess I could talk about like the first case I was going to do, which is the Wonderland murders. So I was going to do a whole week dedicated to like famous Hollywood murders or Hollywood cases. And one of the ones that stuck out infamously to me was the Wonderland murders because of everything that's involved in this case. It is crazy. And when you guys hear it, you're going to think it's crazy too. And you're like, what the fuck? Why'd you save this? And I'm like, my bad. COVID. Um, <laughs> but um, 
but also I have been um I was working on that before COVID happened and then also my personal situation happened so that really pushed me off that track which I need to start I need to go back to that track and funny story how I was thinking about the most infant well one of my murders was one that was in my head there's a few others that's in my head but I've also been using YouTube and like one of the shows I used to watch all the time when I was younger which is terrible to say that I watched the show when I was younger but it was like the countdowns that they used to have on E and um VH1 and stuff like that where they would talk about different cases and different things and different murders yeah that's what I've been using but um see I had a lot I wanted to do I wanted to also that I'm not going to talk about yet but it is something that's kind of because since I do talk about mental health and self-love and self-care I was going to do which I'm still working on that which I think I'm going to work on that to drop in February to go with Valentine's Day a self-love week where we could talk about different events and different things and I might actually drop on Instagram different topics to do and um not so much do different topics to um like write about because that's one of my next things I want to work into is like dropping topics of the week or topics for the dropping like a group of topics for the week that we can write about or discuss or something like that because I personally feel like a lot of people don't know especially this last year being home a lot having to deal with a lot and having to because my year is beyond the COVID, beyond, beyond the goddamn COVID. Um, I've dealt with a lot in this last year and it, it, it's tested, it has tested my mental health severely. And I feel like a lot of people's mental health has been tested and has been tried in this situation. In this last year, 2020 was... Whew. And 2021 is already showing it's going, look, you dealt with my older brother. <laughs> See how you deal with me. But um, with that being said, I don't want to take it too long because I don't want to do a double video for Instagram and here. I want it to be both on one. So I hope you guys have a great new year. Let me know down below some of the goals you're working on. Since I, guys, since I kind of let you guys know on the goals. And it's okay if you're going to recycle goals. I already said it is fine. I think that is great. Recycle your goals so you're still going to accomplish those same things you want to do in 2020. And kind of giving 2020 the middle finger. Like, fuck you, bitch. You didn't take my happiness away. With that being said, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All at Poet Soul 30. I have a Discord. Poet Soul 30. I'm on SoundCloud and Spotify. Both my artist pages are so, is Poet Soul 30. Plus my podcast that's on Spotify, Poet Soul 30. Then also, you can find me at, um, of course, subscribe here. Wherever you're watching this at, follow me, subscribe where you're at right now. Do it now. Thank you. If you want, give me a like too. I appreciate that. And also, I hope you guys enjoy. And this year's going to be crazy already. Like, we're seven days in and shit is hitting the van. With that being said, love you guys. Miss you guys. Whether you listen to Neo or Rose or Erotic Bedtime Stories, Sweet Dream, Sweet Wet Dreams, or Sweet Nightmares. Bye.